All right, switching gears now to football. It is Friday night. And Casey's out at the early time with a preview of our game of the week. Casey? That's right, Todd. This week's Game of the Week is being called the Game of the Year all over Kern County. It features a 5-0 Liberty Patriots team hosting the Bakersfield High Drillers in a Southwest Yosemite League opener. This game was an absolute thriller last year. Liberty came out on top. But, of course, it's a new year, and the biggest talked-about difference in this Liberty team is the most talked-about coaching change of the offseason. The Liberty Patriots have begun the season at 5-0, as well as any football team could have hoped. But for head coach Brian Nixon, 5-0 isn't just a stellar start to a new season, but to a new job. He left a 12-year stint at Centennial rich with day-to-day -day relationships with a 48-student roster. My philosophy is I need to know my players. I want to know the players um, as a person. We build relationships and trust. And then it becomes bigger than just football. Personally, I know Nixon pretty much my whole life, but I was really excited once I found out he was coming. Having him as a football coach makes the bond even stronger. I know I can talk to him about anything. That open door policy has been in effect for 82 wins in two Valley title games. 12 years is a hard thing to part with. I mean, that was tough for me. I'm, I cried. You know, I'm an emotional person, and, and the kids know it. I love them. I'm in the kid business for that reason, and sometimes we have to make decisions that are going to be best for our family. The first order of business at Liberty was the Patriots preseason. Coach Nixon got to know the players personally that he had only known from afar. Didn't really know much about the kids. I knew them coaching against them. And then when I got to know them off-season time, you know, we were able to get to know each other, not in a competitive situation, just the weight room and get to know kids. That's when we started to put some things together and see where we could be and what we could do. What they could do was revealed in just their second game of the year, a three-overtime win at Fresno Central. The new Nixon Patriots learned a lot about their head coach and their football team. I've never been part of a three-overtime game, but it was a pretty special game, especially for us losing last year to them twice. It meant a lot for us to beat them this year. I learned a lot about our kids and our program and our team. Uh, I think that was a big win, but that was a big win for week two. That's why 5-0 and really is a great goal, but at the end of the day, we got five more games of our regular season to play. Yes, they do, and the first of those is here tonight. Join us back here at 1117 for Friday Night Live. After whichever game you're going to, we'll have highlights of this SWYL opener, a post-game sit-down with head coach Brian Nixon, and we'll be around Kern County as other leagues open. South Sequoia League is in week three. It's certainly a football Friday night. It's Friday Night Live at 1117 after the news at 11. I'm live here at Liberty High School, Casey Kiernan, 23ABC.